Hi, it is me Ram Lama and in this video I'll be guiding you to create patterns in Koha library. Once you open your library with the administration account, you'll get this all sorts of options in your dashboard. There are circulation patterns, advanced search and list. To be specific, in this video, I'll be helping you to create patterns in Koha. For that, you have to click on the patterns. This is your first step. Once you click on that, you'll see this option. With the plus sign, there is new patterns. Click add new patterns in the pattern list. We will be creating new patterns. To do that one, we have to click on the new patterns. Click on that and you'll have another categories here. So you have, you have some preferences and you want to create patterns for a certain group of people. And here I have board member, staff, student, teacher. For this, I'm going to create pattern for student. So I have to click on the student. Once I click on that, I'll get this option. And I hope you'll get same option in your Koha library. Now you'll have many options here. And with the red letter, it is always required. It is very much important. Without that, you cannot create anything. So let us go. Salu salutation. Here you have to click Mr., Mrs., Miss. Okay, so let me click Mr. and write the surname. The surname is. And the first name is. Now you'll see date of birth. It is up to you. If you want to add date of birth, then you can add. It is optional. For me, I don't want to add any date of birth and I have to make it specific. The person is whether female or male. So click on that. He's male. And with the main address, it is up to you again. If you want to add any address, please add it. Or if you don't want to add, then just keep it blank. For this section, now you see contact, okay, secondary phone number, primary email. Primary email is very much important. Why it is important? Because if you want to send any notification to your pattern, anything, any warning like you have, you have to submit your uh, book, or it is your due date is on certain day. So if you want to inform anything to your pattern, then this will be very much good choice for you to choose and write his or her email ID. But for now. Let me not add any email ID, but for you, please add email ID, primary email ID. And alternate address, just leave it blank, not necessary. Now, with this red num letter, card number, it is very much important, it is required. So, for me, our pattern card number is based on the year. So, it is 2019, and what is the number? Okay, one, two, three, four. What is the number of the person? A student. So for me, he is 14. Okay, so double zero, two zero, one nine, and 14. I have used eight digit, and this is also your choice. If you want to make it the card number to be 10, 12, it is up to you. But for our system, we want to make it eight digit. And this card number will be used for the barcode, as a barcode also. So you have to decide it wisely. So I have created a digit and leave it blank as it is in the default. Sometime your library will be lost here somewhere. So you have to make sure that you have click on your library. Now you'll see the registration date. It is 7, 8, 2019. And it is based on our system date. So it is just leave it as it is and there is expiry date. Leave blank for auto calculation, okay? It is up to you. You can just add or you can just leave it blank. Now comes with the opaque node. Opaque node is for the patterns. Whenever he or she log into her account or his account, then she'll get some message and that message will be from this part. So you can add any message for the opaque node. And here is circulation node. And it is about the pattern. If you want to add anything about the pattern for the circulation, like for your staff, your assistant, so it is, you can add here. 
now you have to make username for the pattern so I usually take the first name of the pattern it is C and his surname C Kumal and the password it is up to you you can create any password and later on the pattern can change his or her desired password once you're done with all the options click on save okay it is saying duplicate pattern recorded that means I have already created the same pattern so what I want it is a duplicate edit existing record just click on that for you you can just save it so automatically it will be saved save it now you can see the pattern is already being created mr. Chandan Kumal okay 2019-14 okay this is his card number so the, we will use this one for the barcode also now you can see his detail card number borrower number category student registration date and expiry is <coughs> 2027 and okay so his username and password so once the pattern opens then he or she can just change his or her password thank you so much for watching and if you have any question you can just leave on the comment box and let me know i'll be ready to help you in any problem